Good afternoon, people. I'm just sitting here relaxing. I've still got three days of my vacation. I mean, technically the weekend is the weekend, but I'm still on vacation. Monday I go back to work. It was a beautiful day today. Started out kind of chilly. It was like in the 40s this morning, but then it warmed up pretty good. My aunt, aunt and uncle uh, spent the night here. Um, yesterday I really didn't show too much footage because uh, it was more of a personal day uh, for me and my aunt. And my uncle was with us. Uh, we went to my mom's beach where we spread our ashes. Uh, drove back up here from Orlando basically. Um, and stopped in at the beach. Had a great time. Watched some fishermen. Catch some fish. Um, walked up and down the beach. I was looking for shark teeth. Uh, my aunt was looking for shells. And my uncle was talking to the fishermen, of course. Uh, and one of the fishermen actually remembered my uncle from when he was here three years ago when we spread my mom's ashes. So that was, it's like a, kind of like a small world experience there. But that was cool. Um, I found a very large shell that I gave to my aunt. Um, didn't find any shark teeth, so... Billy, if you're watching this, uh, I don't know what you're talking about, there being shark teeth everywhere, but I don't know, maybe I just wasn't looking close enough. Um, then we went out to eat, we went to Carmine's, I took him to a out of the way, um, kind of local, Ma and Pa, Italian restaurant, they had the best, uh, pizza pies. I had, my aunt and I both had a 10 inch um, barbecue chicken pizza and my uncle had a spicy pizza and they both said it was great. Carmine's is up in Riverside and then on the way back I told them, or I took them kind of past the downtown and just gave them a little tour of the south side here. So that was nice. They enjoyed that. They loved Riverside area, the look of it. Uh, Carmine's was busy, um, but great food. They loved it. Then today we kind of woke up whenever. Uh, I gave them my room and I slept down here on that couch. Uh, we had some bagels for breakfast which my aunt toasted. Uh, they had some coffee, so dumb. Finally got to use that coffee maker, thank you. Um, then we went for a little walk. Oh, we went for a walk last night when we came home from um, dinner. Took them around Lake Mandarin here where I normally walk, and we had a nice walk talked a bunch. It's nice catching up, hanging out with family. Then this morning after breakfast we took another walk around the complex here and uh, showed them around here, showed them the pools, the uh, exercise room, and we walked to Walmart so my aunt could get a souvenir Jacksonville um, hoodie, sweatshirt. Well, they didn't exactly have <laughs> the souvenir sweatshirt she was looking for, so she ended up getting a gator one, an orange uh, sweatshirt, which was cool. I'm glad she was able to get something that she wanted. But then all good things came to an end. They left. Uh, they wanted to drive down the coast today, down to A1A. Uh, down through St. Augustine and my aunt actually sent me a picture. They found a stand where they were selling driftwood. I don't know if they picked up any, but that was pretty cool. Um, 
but they were driving down the coast and then they were going to cut back over to Orlando because tomorrow they have to leave to go back up to Wisconsin. And I miss them. I miss my family so bad. Um, we actually talked about me possibly moving back up there and every time I see my family, especially my aunt and uncle and cousins, uh, I always get this feeling like I just missed out on so much and I really want to move back to be with them back up to Wisconsin. But the big thing, the big roadblock that I keep hitting is the extreme cold weather. But I think I can get over that. I'm thinking I may just move back up there when my lease is up here. Uh, still thinking, though, of course. I may change my mind, and, but they loved my place we had a great week just I wish it never ended I ended up getting a couple of things while I was at Epcot got a uh, Japanese flag from Japan because well I lived there for eight months I might as well represent so uh, I also got this was in a glass shop in Orlando or in Germany. Um, it's a little glass crystal stitch and if you can see when the light hits it it changes color. So that's pretty cool. I really like this. But now I'm just sitting here editing the videos because uh, the internet connection at the timeshare wasn't all that great. The download speed was good, but the uplink, the upload speed wasn't. So it was taking forever to upload. And I just finally said, you know what, screw it. I'll just wait till I get back home and post them. So I'm sorry. I haven't posted the videos, but they're getting posted. Um, yeah. I just wish this visit didn't have to end. We'll see what the future brings.